Designing and building a fishing boat that suits every angler's needs is nigh on impossible. But for those of us who chase our passion out in the open water, there's a few non-negotiables. The boat needs to ride well in all conditions. It needs to be stable at rest. We want a large back deck and we need plenty of storage. The Leisure Cat 9000 Kingfisher offers all of those attributes. And when it comes to the layout and the features they fit to this boat, the boys at Leisure Cat Marine offer the new owner an array of options that allows them to customise the boat to suit their individual needs. As I said earlier, deck space is a key component on any fishing boat. And on the 9000 Kingfisher, this self-draining deck is huge. The owner of this boat has added this nice reflex game chair and he's also fitted this removable bait board in the corner. What I really like about this bait board is the size of the cutting area. It's also got some handy features like these drink holders, rod holders here, and when you open the cutting board, you've got an area where you can keep your bait stored out of the sun. You've got a spot here for your sharp knives and all your other bits and pieces. And with the deck wash situated right here, you've got everything you need all in the one spot. Leisure Cat has increased the height of the combings on these second generation boats, and as you can see, it makes them nice and comfortable to lean into. That's also helped by this massive padding that they've put down the side. The other thing I like is the recess underneath the storage area so you can get your feet in and nice and close. The storage area is massive and it's helped by the fact that we've got nice wide gunnels here which means that you've got a bit of an extra seat and plenty of space to fit your rod holders. Another really cool feature the owner has had added to this boat is this live bait tank. It's like an aquarium but it's really big and easy to get to so you can get a whole heap of bait in there. And when you do catch a big one there's plenty of space to store it. How's this for a kill tank? Not only are these kill tanks massive, but they lift out as well. And when you take them out, you expose a whole heap of storage area under here. The owner's also had this optional galley fitted with the gas cooktops and a fridge and a sink. That means he can stay out overnight or simply make himself a fresh cuppa. With this big double berth, a stand-up dressing area and an electric toilet, it'll be a pretty comfortable stay in this lock-up cabin. The cabin also gives you access to two big storage cupboards, one on either side and to the anchor well. This is the standard setup on these boats, but you can also opt to have this wet area portioned off so that you can add a second more private shower, or you can even add more bunks under the floor. Sitting here at the helm, it's hard not to be impressed by the view that's offered by this one-piece windscreen, which is a really unusual feature in a boat this size. But certainly after having um, sat here and, and used it, be something that I'd be really keen to put into any other boat I built. The other thing is that the dash here is really nice and wide and what I like is that this massive 16 inch Garmin multi-function display system right in the middle so you're looking at it all the time you know where you're going you know how deep it is. All of the switches that you need to operate anything on the boat all fall easily here to your left hand and the controls for the engine are on your right which makes it nice and easy as well. The other thing I really like is these bolster seats because it gives you the option of driving standing up or sitting down. It's just simply a matter of flipping the bolster down and jumping in there. And as you can see, when you're sitting down, you've got a nice footrest as well. In all, it's a really nice, comfortable boat to drive. The 9000 Kingfisher comes standard with this massive hardtop that offers you and all your passengers protection from weather in any conditions. The other thing I really like about it is that the fact that these windows on the side slide because on those really hot days, a bit of ventilation is really important. Kingfisher we are testing today has been fitted with twin 250 horsepower four-stroke Suzuki outboards. You can opt for a diesel stern drive configuration if you like. As with all Leisure Cat boats, the 9000 is built to survey standards. The second generation boat we are on today also is longer, wider and thanks to the wider hulls more buoyant. All Leisure Cats have a wave breaker that divides the tunnel into two round top sub tunnels. What the wave breaker does is provide two distinctive advantages. It makes the tunnel stronger, and when it hits the lumps of water, it breaks them up. But not only does it break them up, it pushes the water down, making the ride softer and eliminating the back spray that can normally get with a cat. Despite being nine meters long and 3.1 meters wide, the performance of this boat is more akin to a trailer boat. It is extremely responsive and gets up on the plane in a few short seconds. While the conditions today were pretty good, we extracted a top speed of just over 42 knots, which is pretty impressive for a boat of this size. It cruises really comfortably at around 30 knots. 
Even turning the big cat is not too difficult, especially if you add some extra revs to the outside engine. We did cop a bit of spray on the windscreen, but none on the back deck. This is really a great boat for the serious fishermen. And as we saw today, it handles the blue water conditions pretty well. But surprisingly, it's equally adept in the shallower waters. It's only got a draft of about 450 millimetres, so you can virtually beach this boat or take it into shallow waters. And even more surprisingly, despite its size, you can get it with a trailer. But you've got to make sure that you've got the right vehicle and the right permits first. And if you can do that, then this is a boat you can take anywhere in Australia and tackle your favourite fishing spot.